just 24 hours until Election Day. They are so tired. <laughs> I'm hoping that Barack Obama and the million or so people that are planning on gathering in Chicago uh, have a very long, cold night. If people wake up on Wednesday morning yeah. and John McCain is the victor, other than polls being wrong, do you think there's going to be a backlash? Choking on their tofu on the Upper West Side and in San Francisco. San Francisco. There must be something about San Francisco. It was there that he talked about um, the bitter clingers. The Klingons. And I'm not even going to say what I think about Sarah Palin. Well, on Friday, we promised you an interview with Governor Sarah Palin. We apologize for the McCain camp breaking its word. Our viewers certainly deserved better. USA! USA! Do you characterize John McCain's campaign as dignified and honest? Well, what I'd characterize the uh, entire campaign as is extraordinarily negative on the part of Barack Obama. He's in the far left lane. He's even more liberal than a guy from Vermont that used to call himself a socialist. Sometimes yeah. you're looking in the chasm and you think, okay, fine, I might as well have a good time. Hey, USA! USA! What do they think? Do they think that the terrorists have all of a sudden become the good guys? So you think his campaign was dignified? Well, the terrorists still seek to destroy America. Governor, not to beat a dead horse here, but once again, do you believe that the campaign was dignified? Do, was it dignified? It was presidential. We believe in the most enduring of all American beliefs. It's kind of, a, it's kind of the epitome of who Barack Obama is. We do not have to accept things the way they are.